Well, so what I did, now that I'm more situated, I just put Sip Cosmetics back up. It was clicking a button. And so if you go to Sip Cosmetics now, you'll see it's up. They lied to you and told you this was happening, but that's not true. They just made up stuff. Since there's so many judges and everybody's a judge, everybody's a jury, everybody's a sentencing judge and everything now, and they know what they could and cannot do. But I'm just trying to figure out what, how they know more than, uh, a term, than me that's in the situation. So um, I'm going to show you what I was talking about. Thank y'all for everybody that participated in the fan lottery. Real, real quick. But then I'll also show you if you could go to yourself and see that simcosmetics.net is back up. Like it never, like nothing ever happened because I just pressed activate or deactivate is all I did because I didn't want to have to do orders while I was moving. Yeah, so at the end of the day, a lot of people just making up stuff in the situation. The situation is what it, the situation is. I just want to print out something. Like nobody have to do nothing. Nobody, none of y'all have to do anything. If y'all want to cheerlead for the detectives and the police, by all means, go do that. If you hate me that much, go ahead. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. But at the end of the day, I know what I I know. This something this something that happened in 2018 before I knew half of you bitches. Or uh, whatever you think I did to you to make you hate me so much, it's not karma for that because I did this already. So uh, at the end of the day, bitches think they know everything. But of course, receipts don't lie. So, of course, this was another Charlie lie and all these other motherfuckers lie. I'm listening to these motherfuckers. Yes, because the fan sees some cosmetics. I'm like, Real? <laughs> I just pressed pause, bitch, because I couldn't do fucking orders because all the shit was in storage, which I'm going to change tomorrow, of course. So I'm, well, I'm going to get I'm moving my storage unit from a city I'm no longer living to the city I'm living at. So just to show you real quick what I'm talking about. People so stupid. Just be making up stuff. All right. I, and I already got eight orders. I just got eight orders. Thank y'all. <laughs> Whoever ordered. Like, no shade. So, it's like eight orders to fill. But look, if you go to your settings and you go to your plan, and this is the Sip Cosmetics store, it gives you the option to pause or deactivate your store. Everybody, anybody that got Shopify, see y'all listen to people with no business tell y'all how businesses run. Like if you want to take time out or you want to do something, you can pause or deactivate your store. Now I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do that anymore. But it's like, this is what you can do. And this is your zip code. This is your, um, that's Shopify. That's what I use. So you can pause or deactivate your store at the time. No, if you want to restock or anything, or if you're having like logistical issues, a lot of people during the pandemic pause their store. Um, things like that, depending on what you're selling or depending on what's going on. I elected to pause my store because I was unable to just keep going back and forth from New Orleans to Baton Rouge to do two or three orders on a where my stuff was in storage. So, like I said, I'm going to change it tomorrow. I'm getting you all taking it from Baton Rouge, move to New Orleans, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. But motherfuckers was just lying on y'all, lying on me, and lying to y'all for nothing. So I put the website back because I undo it because and thank y'all for the eight orders. Shout out to y'all. Period. Love y'all. And no need to pay all the fees. Thank y'all. So Sim Cosmetics is back up and running. Even though they told y'all the feds that took, took, took it. The fuck? This crime was committed in 2018. Sip Cosmetics starts at 2020. It's two years. So I don't know. There's, it would be impossible for them to touch anything. <laughs> it would, it, the only thing they could touch is something that was done prior to, or the, prior to the date of occurrence. So they did not even make any sense. And people talking about, oh, the feds contacted them. That's not true either. Why would the feds contact you about a charge that happened in 2018? You never, you half of you bitches didn't even know me then. The fuck? I wasn't even on the internet. The only thing I was posting on the internet, come buy this, come buy that. I was selling shit. The fuck? Shake, what you think about Royce Reed's son issue? Um, I don't have an opinion about that. But 